Today is November 24th. Today's quote is entitled, Love Everyone. We can only love everyone when we love Krishna. We can only be non-envious of everyone when we have no envy for Krishna. So the fact that we have any envy in our heart for anyone means we must still have envy towards Krishna. What a painful thought. And I know myself, sometimes when I hear that, I try to deny it and I say, no, I don't envy Krishna. And then I find that I end up in a situation where I'm envying another devotee who's better than me or getting more applause than me or whatever. Right? Then how can I be envious of him if I'm not envious of Krishna? We have to accept that reality. It's very, very powerful reality and very piercing and very difficult to accept that I could be envious of Krishna. But the point of this quote is, is that that envy cannot manifest unless there is envy of Krishna. But the other side is the good news. Well, maybe it's bad news until we have love of Krishna, but I can't love truly anyone unless I love Krishna. So if you really want to love others, you really want to love your wife, your children, the ultimate sense, ultimately you have to love Krishna. Now, Bhakti Vinod Thakur has explained this very, very succinctly and wonderfully in the Jaiva Dharma. That when somebody loves Krishna, automatically and simultaneously, that same emotion that is producing love of Krishna, when it's just taken and pushed, how do, how do I want to say it? When that same emotion that is, is given to Krishna, the same bhava, when that is now directed, that's the word, when it's directed towards everyone else, that same emotion, which was called bhava, or preliminary love or emotion for Krishna, is called compassion. It's the same emotion, but when it's directed towards Krishna, it's love, and when it's directed towards everyone else, it's compassion. Isn't that beautiful? So when you get love of Krishna, then you look at everyone else with compassion. It's the same emotion. And when I don't have love of Krishna, then I don't have compassion. And I can't have compassion unless I have love of Krishna. And if I have love of Krishna, I won't have envy for anyone. And if I don't have love of Krishna, then I have envy for everyone, for anyone, to one degree or another. It's like, you know, some of us have small envy. Some of us have big envy. So this is, um, I think we all know this. But it's just wonderful to talk about this, meditate on it. And when I see anger coming up or envy or jealousy, all these things coming up, are coming up in my life, when they do come up, I can think, this is because it's with Krishna, it's me and Krishna, I still have it. And it can only manifest here in this world because I have it for him. Lust, anger, any of these things, wow. Just to confront the idea that I would have these things towards Krishna, ooh painful to accept, isn't it? Painful to tolerate, painful to believe, but it's true. So, simple thought, simple meditation, and the idea of this quote hopefully is to inspire us and to make us aware that uh, these qualities when they manifest here, it's because they exist up there, and um, don't use an excuse, well this person is like this or that, ultimately just accept, I'm envious of Krishna, therefore I'm envious of him, or I'm jealous of Krishna, therefore I'm jealous of him, or I resent Krishna, therefore I resent him. Wow, that's heavy to acknowledge and to admit. I'm just throwing that out as a thought, as an idea. I don't know your situation. I don't know everything you're dealing with. It's something to contemplate. Is that true for you? Can you see how it's true? Can that help you in some way? be better? Can it help you overcome it? Just to see the connection there. Hare Krishna.